Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be testing out a cushion foundation that is extra fancy and hopefully super fabulous. It is from La Mer. I did not think that they would ever come out with a cushion foundation. You guys know I really, really love their liquid foundation. It is one of my very favorites. Yes, it is super expensive, but it is one of those foundations that just makes your skin look dewy, but not greasy and covered, but not heavy. And I do really, really love that foundation. I personally, as far as La Mer skincare goes, can only use certain items within their range. Their creams tend to be a little bit heavy on my skin, but when you find the right products with La Mer, the Miracle <laughs> Broth, which I want to say was like kind of stumbled across because of a burn patient that used the Miracle Broth and it helped the burn to heal. And the only reason I ever remember that is not from doing research currently, but it is from my days working at Nordstrom way back when. And I remember waking up at like six in the morning to go and take a La Mer class. I learned what I could. I tried out a bunch of the products and you know, their stuff is really, really good. Their key ingredient and in product, the Miracle Broth, which is algae, I believe, uh, is really Really, you know, a healing property. So that's the magic of La Mer, the magic of the ocean. Now, as with most cushion foundations, you do get an extra little cushion. Granted, cushion foundations, I personally tend to go through really quickly and they dry out. So it's not like you're getting double the foundation, I guess. You're just basically getting the same as one. Why am I even sharing this with you? I'm not really sure, but this is what you get when you purchase the La Mer. Luminous lifting, ooh, it's lifting? Yes, cushion foundation. This does have an SPF of 20 in it. And let's go ahead and pop this puppy open. You have a pad. And even though it's La Mer, I don't like it. I never like putting a cushion foundation on with uh, the little press pad. I just, I feel better using a foundation brush, using a beauty blender. This always like ends up being very streaky on me. So I'm always just like, no, thank you. Ooh. Oh my God, that's juicy. That is like a juicy cushion foundation. Like there's a lot in there. Let's pray that this is the right shade of rue for me. Yes, that's actually perfect. So today I am gonna be wearing this all day long, doing out and about close-ups. My sister is coming to town and I'm so, so excited for that. I just feel very empty on my face. So, ah! Oh God, that is like not okay. Like that just looks so weird. My husband is outside right now. Okay, so we are zoomed in nice and tight and I'm about to get to application, but I didn't even tell you how much this La Mer Lifting Luminous Beautiful Cushion Foundation is. It is a whopping $120. That's a lot of money, but it is La Mer, so I think we all know going in that it is going to be um, not cheap. So there's that. I am looking at the shade range and you know, La Mer has notoriously not had the greatest range of colors, but for a cushion foundation to see 12 shades here and to see such a drastic difference from the lightest to deepest, I do think that's pretty good. I have not swatched all of these shades in person, so I can't like 100% say where I'm at with this. What do you guys think? What do you think about 12 shades being like kind of a deeper jump from color to color? I like that versus is, you know, 30 shades that are all kind of the same. Do you know what I'm saying? It says that it contains healing hydration. I love that. That actually sounds really like, oh, like, oh, like healing hydration, please heal me. This is from the Miracle Broth and Color Capsule Technology, which will give the skin a lift of luminosity for a fresh, flawless look with plumper, firmer, feeling skin. So it also says to sweep over the skin for light coverage, pat for full. What do you think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna not just pat, I'm gonna like smash it into my skin and like try to get as much coverage as I can. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a brush. I am using the Jelly Primer, which thanks to Boobra, I am back into. I thought I hated this and I did. Like I hate, I didn't like this. And then I've used it probably like four days in a row and my skin is looking so nice. And I'm like, wait, why didn't I like this? This is fantastic. So this is a firming. Once again, we're using a lot of firming products. So I have that on, I have a little tart, of course, and now we're going to heal and hydrate. So let's do this. This feels like it's a little bit light for me, only because I so often use the wrong shade of foundation. 
probably. <laughs> It does not have a scent the way the other one does. Like it doesn't feel like there's a heavy fragrance going on in here, which I like. Some of the more expensive foundations, like they just have so much fragrance. It's like you open it up and it just like smacks you in the face and you're just like, ooh, you know, like it's just, ugh, and it almost gives you a headache. Like I don't like that. Okay, this is going on and beautifully, like beautifully. You know what one is really nice that I did continue using because I spent a lot of money on it? The La Prairie cushion is really nice. It's more lightweight than this, but that one, holy smokes, you open it up and you're like, am I putting fragrance on my face or foundation? Because I am confused. This is nice. My skin looks beautiful right now. It looks hydrated. It feels really nice. I love this. It's not collecting around my nose. Is it moving around a lot? Hmm. Okay, so this feels like it's just sinking into the skin. I feel like I would have preferred doing a slightly lighter coverage. When I went in with that second layer on my cheek, I did start to get a few brush strokes, but just by patting it in, it's fine. I wanna see what concealer uh, does on top of this. That's always a test that I like to do. So I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna go in with Light Neutral and just dot it under here. Everything's looking really, really good. I'm gonna go in with my powder next. It's rubbing off my nose for some reason, which is kind of strange. All right, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer on my nose because uh, I can see that being an issue and we don't want that. All right, I'm gonna bake a little bit. It's a little bit strange, but the powder is grabbing in certain areas where it normally doesn't. So there's a slight uneven kind of a thing going on. I think what I need to do is to just take a fluffy brush and kind of lightly graze my skin everywhere because there are bits that are just like shiny and dewy and it's not meshing with like the more powdered areas. Even though I usually only powder certain areas of my face, I'm feeling like this is the kind of a finish that is gonna need to be powdered everywhere. Ooh, what is happening? Usually when I put on a foundation, I powder it, I like it more, and right now I like it less. What the? Uh. This is a Natural Lovers product only, in my opinion, it is not working with other products. It is not friendly with other products. It looked so good going on, but like my nose right now is anytime I bump it with the powder on, it is all moving. So I'm gonna have to be super careful doing the rest of my makeup. Wish me luck. I am going to finish everything up and then I will be right back.
right guys, so after a major struggle in the blending department, I finally have the rest of my makeup on. I am uh, putting to the test Natasha Denona's new gold palette and I will link that video below if it's posted yet. If it's not and I'm still exploring things, then that is soon to come. But I really, um, side note, aside from the base, I really love my eye look today. And I basically used my fingers only, which is really cool and it was really fast. The face makeup, you guys, I'm shocked that I don't love it more than I do because I die hard love the Liquid La Mer foundation. That one is so easy to blend and work with other products and cream contours and powders and you can just layer, layer, layer and even mix it in with other foundations and it's just such a good solid product. This one is nice if you are a natural, loving kind of a person that you just wanna look that is quick for those light, no makeup makeup moments. But if you like to pile on the makeup the way that I do, if you like to contour your nose, then I think you're gonna run into a bit of a speed bump. That's what happened to me. I am of course gonna see how this wears. I was able to get it to a place where it does look nice, it looks good, but my point is it was a journey to get there. So here's where we are. I will see you guys in a few more hours. All right, you guys, it is about halfway through the day and I wanted to give you a good little look at the makeup. I am at a point where I'm like, kind of love hate love hate love hate i can find a lot of pros about it i can find a lot of cons the price tag is giant so in my mind i'm kind of like you know the laneige one is a better option and i would be more likely to recommend that even though for a natural look this did go on fine you guys all know my struggles that i had anyway this is where we're at it is wearing beautifully like i don't have much to complain about james likes my makeup today which is making things more confusing but yeah i'm here i'm sorting through bunch of nail polish kind of back into like painting my nails a lot again i'm wearing one from h&m right now that i don't think they make anymore because it's so old but i am going through my collection and yeah I'm, I'm just kind of back into it so that's how my day's going what do you think of my foundation i think it's pretty but what do you like about it I do think you see I just... like a dramatic difference from how my skin normally looks or how my foundation normally looks because it has now been on my face for many, many hours. So I'm curious what you think. No, I don't. In fact... Oh, now we're getting picky. Well, something's happening here. It's like I, breaking apart. A lot apart. of things. Oh, really? Yeah. Stop it. Is it really? And it's like collecting other colors. It's like getting darker. Like it's oxidizing brown. Like... Yeah. I was feeling like really hot about myself for a little bit because James kept being like, no, your face makeup looks so good. And I was like, oh, really? And like I started looking in the mirror being like, oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Pretty good. Let's zoom in. Insert Halloween music. Yeah. You know, it's just breaking apart. It's not, it's not performing well. It's Mama Larissa. She's in town to see me. Puka is very excited because we're going bye-bye. Look at the face. Look at my angel. Come here. Come here. He just never listens to me, ever. He listens to Boobra. Booga show. What do you think of my foundation? I actually think it, it looks... Does it look better than normal? Be honest. I don't know if it looks better than normal, but it doesn't stand out to me like it's bad. I mean, I wouldn't look at you and go, oh God, what did you put on your face? Do you ever look at me and think that? No, I don't. You're a liar. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go get some Javier's. I'm really excited, let's go. Come on, fam. Come on, fam. Come on, fam, let's go. Let's go. Buka. Buka. Come here for a second. What? Look in the mirror right here on this side. Okay. Look right there. If I said, oh! if I said, Cake, it's not, it's not, it's cakey. Something? It's like, it's hard. Is that? it That's the problem. It's like bruised. It's like, a, it's a turned a different like right color. Here? It's turned a different color. Uh, I mean, I don't think that's blush or bronzer. Yeah, the weird thing is powder like adheres to this really strange. I love that we're having like a full family meeting about this <laughs> foundation. It's so serious. <laughs> okay, let's go get some chips mm. and salsa. Yeah, this is a little cake-erific. 
Ew. All right, you guys, so it is now almost 12.30 at night. I've been hanging out with my sister all evening, laughing and having the best time ever and not really fussing with my makeup at all, so I have not touched up a thing. I have been wearing this way, way, way too long. It has expired, it has fallen apart. Nothing's really changed to make me like it more. It's just, I don't know, $120 is a lot for a cushion foundation. I think Laneige and even Wet n Wild, dare I say it, Wet n Wild at the drugstore, five bucks. Oh, I feel really horrible saying that, but I think that it's a better option. Ugh. If you want full glam and skincare, go for the liquid. I think it's a much better feel and texture. This just wasn't it for me, and anyone that wants to use a powder on top of this, I think is gonna have a little bit of an issue. It's not terrible. But again, if you're paying that kind of money, you probably want zero issues. So that is it from me. I got to scoot to bed because I got a big day tomorrow. got to wake up early. And that is that. All right. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I love you. If you have not subscribed, make sure you do that before you leave. Ring the bell so you're notified of my future uploads. I'm here Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. PST. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Mwah.